Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 79th episode of Hunter x Hunter. And yeah, last episode, our insect army is still doing insect army things. But there was a little bit of a resistance from something, you know, when they were attacking that one village. So, not completely uncontested, but as far as our actual main characters go, they have been pretty, pretty uncontested. Like, Go and that whole squad haven't really done anything to deter any other actions just yet. So far, it's been just entirely investigation stuff. So I think we're pretty getting pretty close to actually having some real direct physical confrontation fairly soon. And we're having other people kind of join into the group. Well, not the the group. I mean, they're like getting involved in this overall plot. It's be people that we haven't really seen since the initial hunter exam, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we'll see how they kind of end up being a part of things. So, let's just experience what more horrible things the insects will do, and hopefully other people can stop them. So, three, two, one, play. I think that was a pretty naturally spoken sentence. Oh yeah, we got names too. It's slightly more personal than like a number. Yeah. Although people still do have numbers, they're like social security number and whatnot. And opening. See my kitty cat back there. Just kinda just kinda laying down. Hunter Hunter. More like insect hunter, am I right? How <laughs> to watch out for those tentacles, Killua. Not even once. And then, yeah, just fire, burning, destruction. Still nervous about that part where the go and the dead eyes and stuff. That's concerning. Uh, yeah, other insect hybrids, Chimera. And then the king up top. Yeah, once he pops out, it's probably going to be a whole new ball game. No good NGL. Okay. Sure, if you say so. So we have arrived, okay. Let's roll. So we've heard, yeah. Yeah, we're all just a good fit for each other. Ten. Today alone, wow, damn. Okay, why? What for what purpose? I guess just same purpose, really. Because we already know about them, yeah. Yeah, if such a thing existed, that'd be very terrifying, wouldn't it? For some reason, when I see people riding horses, I'm just kind of compelled to bob my head in the same manner. I'm trying not to, but... Yeah, it wouldn't be strange. It'd be horrific, but it wouldn't be strange. I feel like this trip's going to get you more than you bargained for. I get it though, I get it. You're a new hunter, ambitious, want to prove yourself. 
she looks like she was having a good time there, didn't she? I, I guess that's a ship. I... That poor village. Uh, such a weird group of people, things. Man, those fingers. No. Yeah, we have our names now. Not that I'm, not that I'm gonna remember any of them. <laughs> well, there's strong humans around somewhere. It's not a game. It's very serious stuff, guys. I'll at least try to remember Colt, because that's obviously a very important character. Well, we'll see how you feel about it when you're being hunted by the hunters in the show. And man, her outfit, though. Whew. Yeah, we'll cross our bridge when we get to it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want too much of that. We don't need people thinking there's special snowflakes around here. Can we go back to not having names? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's gross. Chameleon, the eyes. I hate chameleon eyes so much. Hmm. Can you prove that? I think he just hid because it's in his nature. So which one is you and you? Well, stop being at fault then. I heard that was a crocodile. Not sure who was missing. Remember that, definitely. Oh no, the crocodile's right there. So yeah, I don't know who that was then. I don't I don't know who it is then. That's the only guess I could make. But those are those people. <sighs> oh, Ow! Just tossed at his comrades that were fleeing. I just thought we really didn't instill fear. Okay, that's Junju. Like a centaur. That's a cool design, though. And that's, uh, that's certainly a design as well. She has a face mask. It's good. Safety first. You don't want the coronavirus. So, but yeah, apparently those humans aren't that tough. But yeah, they're not hunters, so at least not professional hunters. Those are some massive trees. There are no, no normal people in the show, at least not of any plot importance. Yeah, let's not break any trees in front of the tree huggers. He's moving again. Please do not stand in our way. We have something very important to investigate. 
Yeah, I, I didn't think you could. I mean, as long as we have our licenses, you should just kind of let us do what we do. Computers in a tree, wow. Okay, so much for no technology. It just looks so weird, though. Uh, like, just... They could be doing a raid here in a tree. Okay, you're loopholing it. Got, gotcha. I guess they have the bare minimum tech they need. How many uh, cheating zones do you have? I promise I left my MP3 player at home. And I'm definitely not hiding my PSP in my shoe. Petroleum. You want me to wander around blind, man? Uh, are we gonna have anyone have to leave their clothes behind? Like you, for instance. I'm not telling you to, but I'll I'll be in support of it. Well, damn, they are harsh. I feel like that's really too much. Like, why would they require it to that level? Like... Like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty strict. So, we just have to leave half our group behind. I guess it's fine, we had a pretty big group. We can kind of feel loose. Final exam and interview. Damn. They did not mess around here. Only the most advanced technology to prevent you from bringing in your own technology. But I know it's not. It's not in jail yet, so it's fine. Ah, uh, man. Jeez. Ugh. I'm just kind of blown away by how far they go to prevent that. That's crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't I feel very welcomed at this point? <laughs> like, a lot of people that walk through that doorway probably look very uncomfortable if they had to run through all that. Like, some people will probably walk in a little bit funny. But we made it! We may have lost half of the stuff on us, but we made it. I mean, to a certain degree, clothing at all would be kind of unnatural, so it really wouldn't be odd if they really did require everyone here to be literally naked. Like, you could definitely do that. I don't see that as being any better, or, or, you know, than, uh, like, implants or whatever. <laughs> I see how it is, right? I can see these people not getting a lot of tourism. Probably some, for sure. Just because of how different it is. Oh, my nose itches so badly. Who are they? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty clear why they're here. <laughs> we had no expectations here. Are you okay, sir? Are you being attacked by a bug? Or a clown. A bug clown. What the frick am I looking at? I think that's a koala. In a suit. Pink. 
<laughs> he just has like a literal tree as his weapon. Very sophisticated fur animal. You got significantly more fur and you're quite a bit smaller. Uh, and you're also pink. <laughs> yada yada does it. This man's gonna die, isn't he? He's gonna die a sweaty mess. Oof. Oh, right to the forehead. Oh, Jesus. What did you do to this man? Oh my god, that was brutal. C -c 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 chameleon? Ch chameleon. Well, he pissed them off, you know. Human, human meatballs. Jesus, that is unpleasant. <laughs> just me or does he look a little bit like Shaggy? Just random thought I had just now. Eh? Looks so cute, but so not cute. But... But others might not. Feeding squad. His ears are just enormous. Kinda reminds me of the one Pokemon, uh, Wismer, Loudrid, that sort of thing. Like there's speakers, like it's gonna, you know, blow my speakers up. Uh, as usual, this is a very terrifying, unsettling sight. You and you, that's what it was. Uh, uh, they'll do it too. Uh. Yeah, like, that's not much meat there. How about you not do that? That's terrible logic, like... There's no reason why you wouldn't just wait for it to get bigger. Like, even looking at it from their perspective. Like, so why humans don't eat piglets, you know, for a reason. Ugh, that's gotta hurt. At least it sounded like he landed in bushes. That might be a little bit better. But still, that would have hurt a lot. At least it probably didn't break anything. <laughs> it's just, just a weird sight. Uh, so is that like a squirt gun? Is that what's happening? Because I don't get the water otherwise. Seems like a loose cannon kind of thing. Like personality. I come again. I'm glad somebody understood that. <clears throat> just the way he talks, I just I don't know. <laughs> Everything about his character is just so weird. The other one's a cockroach. <sighs> well then. You found a corpse. I think this is one of the, the gun squad's corpses. Yeah, guns, a little bit weird to have here. Are we going to talk about that? Well, what do you call that thing? Underground. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Unless somebody just attacking people with special rakes. Yeah, it's not humans. 
Oh, I guess in a world with Nem, it could technically possibly be a human, but... Oh, yeah, they look familiar. We saw them like two minutes ago. If that... I'm surprised she was allowed to keep her hat. It just seems like a thing that would be pretty unnatural, but I don't know. It might be just a literal beehive, in which case I guess it would be natural. Ooh, yeah. How do you guys gonna handle fight an actual, you know, hunters? Oh, oh no. Yeah, that's that familiar water gun. Mr. Koala found you. Uh... Well, that guy never had a chance. Didn't even get to see it coming. So, oh no, yeah, they're still on us. <clears throat> oh no. Please don't leave her behind. Oh god, that would be the worst. A giant cockroach just slowly walking towards you as you're on the ground. I can't imagine much worse. Okay, headshot, double kill, oof. Oh yeah, he really did. Basically exactly what I said, aside from the... Oh no, no, they did die, okay. So yeah, basically exactly what I said. Headshot, double kill. Fire style. Yeah, there's more guns that aren't supposed to be here. Just so much, ouch, so much death. Jesus, I think he just squashed his head into the ground. What is that thing? Like literal bone arms. Like centipede or something maybe? I'd... Are there any living ones left? <clears throat> These friggin' labs. Uh... This is a terrible place to live, this, this area in general. If you live in a village in this area, I feel bad for you. So, are we protecting something back there? That's a name. Oh, the bugs had weird names. What am I looking at there? Or who? It's so dark, but I think that's a person sitting. I can't quite tell. It's probably important, though. Yeah, the Gones group still technically haven't done anything to the insects just yet, but they're pretty close now. Like, next episode we might actually make contact. But that's for next episode. But man, just more and more death. Just so much death. <sighs> yeah, the more I think about it, the more I, this just seems like a terrible place to live. Like, even terrible to visit, you walk through the door, they're like, okay, give me pretty much everything you've got on you, whether it be inside or out. And after we check for a few thousand hours to make sure you're all clean, then you get to go out and then you get watched as you travel around. Like, it just seems so horrible. Even your glasses, man. It's, uh... Okay. Okay. That was the 79th episode of Hunter Hunter, and we have finally made it, we being Gones Group, to this NGL paradise, basically. Quote unquote. I don't know why I called it paradise. Nobody nobody should. It just kinda came out. 
But anyway, yeah, apparently they're not the only ones that have come here. Like, the guy that drove them was like, yeah, we got, like, ten groups just today coming over here. But I didn't quite get that. Like, I knew that one group obviously came by, but I guess just other people are curious about what's going on. Like, I don't think we really expanded on it beyond that. So I guess it would just be for the same reason. So, we haven't given everyone names. We are talking about how it could be a potential problem because we're giving them more individuality and the more individuality you give someone, the more they more likely they are to rebel. That's a big, pretty big problem. And we do just in general seem to be having a little bit of infighting. Like we have the, the cutesy koala that talks like a mob boss or whatever. We got him who seems to be like not super falling in line with things. Like he's definitely acting on emotion and grudges and stuff a lot. And we have Colt, I think his name was, who's also like... He's got a bit of a soft spot for certain humans, certain situations, like, because his DNA based off of the child and stuff, and if he sees a young child being attacked, that seems to have a bit of an effect on him. Like, he used logic and stuff to say why he shouldn't be taken, but I do think there was emotion fueling that as well, because he has acted like that before. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how smoothly things are going to go if they start to incorporate more and more human DNA into this, because that's just, it's just asking for rebelling and special snowflakes to think that they they know better than the boss and all that so yeah i could definitely see a bit more strife appearing here and there like it seems like we're kind of building up to that maybe becoming become a bit more of a problem like we had a uh, new gyu gaba gaba shibi shibi uh the centaur dude also kind of going out to do his own thing attacking the people with guns who aren't supposed to have guns but apparently they're kind of it's kind of an underground thing i think they said but yeah, I love the centaur's character design. A lot of them look really gross and creepy, but his actually looks kind of cool. So, yeah, it was also just really weird to see this hollowed out tree trunk area with like computers and stuff. I could just, the first thing that came to mind is like, this is a raid group in a MMORPG game. They're doing a dungeon together. I don't know, this popped into my head like a LAN party. I had a lot of weird thoughts kind of go through my head during this scene, I'll be honest. And just, yeah, they have a lot of really specific advanced tech here. Just, I, yeah. Just so unpleasant. <laughs> Having to just go through all of that. And yeah, that pink koala thing, that was just such a weird, I don't know, just such an interesting idea for a character. Because physically it looks so cutesy and stuff, you know, little koala, pink and fluffy. But he speaks with a very deep, serious, you know, uh, I don't know, bartender, mob boss, I really don't know what you'd want to call that voice beyond just, you know, deep and mature. But uh, yeah, just that sort of disconnect, the sort of gap. I, I mean, you wouldn't really call it gap moe, I don't think, but just, yeah, sort of a gap between personality and and uh, the yeah, physicalness, appearance. Yeah, just very interesting stuff. I keep expecting, like, vibration sounds that come out of his ears. Like... I don't, just, I don't just mean that as a jokey thing. Like, I keep... That keeps just popping into my head every time I see the ears. ears. Like, I feel like that should be his attack. But he has a squirt, squirt gun instead. Because... So why not? And yeah, we have uh, our other squad here that actually starting to get involved in things. Like, actually attacking insects and stuff. So they're kind of way ahead of Gon's group. Well, not way ahead. Moderately, moderately ahead. So yeah, at this point they've confirmed what they their suspicions of yeah bugs big big problem. So yeah, what do we do going from this besides not die is the the big question. I do like his like red arrow archer attacking style. That's pretty cool. Yeah, luckily our favorite bee girl didn't die there. Would have been would have been horrible. Although you know things could certainly get worse from here. But for now, everyone seems fine. I mean, everyone, every named important character. A lot of random unnamed characters just getting slaughtered left and right, getting their heads squashed or shot through the head or all sorts of horrible things happening to people. But yeah, we ended off on the uh, this cave over here, which I guess is like these people's sort of headquarters. Like, we have a map back here of the, the world, I guess. So it seems like they're kind of guarding something. Like, this is the deepest area of their lair, and they're trying to protect something. Although... It's not like we're really here to steal things, right? We're just here to capture people, I, I guess. So it's not like there's any sort of important information, disc, whatever that we're after, right? I don't know. Otherwise, I'm not sure if that was back there, if that was anything important. 
Or no, no, no. Okay, I get a better look at it now. That yeah, that's a that's a chair from from behind, and you can kind of see the arms. Yeah, okay. Now I see. Now I can. Now I can tell what I'm looking at. I thought it was like a suitcase or something at first, but now that I can actually really look at it, yeah, it's quite clearly a chair with somebody sitting in it, with the back of it facing us, and they're facing towards the map. I, I got it now. I got it now. So that's probably their boss then. So yeah, this is this, that wasn't like a big old treasure or anything. That's just their their boss. Okay. Never mind the last couple of minutes of things I've said. We can just kind of discount that. And yeah, then he glances towards him. So that was the same thing. Okay. Because I knew that I knew it looked like a person sitting there here. I just didn't know those were the same the same thing. And we still don't see him very clearly. Like, it kind of looks like there's some armor there. But it's hard to tell. I can't really tell much. His hands are clearly on the... On the hand... hand not handles. Uh, the arm of the chair. Like, his arms are there. Like, I can't tell if he's even alive, really, or what, but, yeah. I'm definitely curious who he is, if that's going to be some big reveal. Because they're definitely keeping him darkened for a reason. So, that's certainly on my mind. Okay, yeah, I may have missed this line here. They have cornered the country's shadowy ruler. Like, yeah, literally shadowy. I guess also probably just figuratively shadowy. So... Yeah, so maybe they are just specifically trying to go after that for whatever reason. For for whatever reason. So, yeah, what's going on with this country exactly? I mean, I guess it just it's just a matter of secretly having guns to keep order because it makes it easier to do so. Especially if your citizens don't have guns. You know, the Japan way of doing things. Where the police have guns and citizens do not. But, you know, that's, that. this is actually more secret, though. That's the biggest difference. Although, I don't know how secret you could keep that. I mean, maybe within the... Maybe outside, but within the country, that wouldn't be that much of a secret if they ever do things. But I really don't know how much these people do, right? Like, this is a pretty big emergency, but I don't know how often these people come out with guns to solve problems. Hard to say for sure. But clearly they want to keep the image of people outside from not knowing about some of this stuff. Like, because we didn't even really know about the tech inside that the gateway, right? Like, like that wasn't common knowledge that you have to go through all these scanning and stuff. So, very secretive place, and I feel like we're gonna kind of unravel secrets the more as we as we go. So, yeah, that poor guy with the tree just never stood a chance. So yeah, so all I really got to say, things are certainly getting developed, so we'll see how they continue to develop next time. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.